We can also do the previous drill with one hand, which actually fits pretty well with Tyler because I look at him and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to touch two hands on the man. So I try to just use one hand whenever I make physical contact with him, right? So we can do the same drill, right? Like I would recommend just, it's not as easy to hit a Toriando with one hand. If Tyler's extending his leg into me, sure, we can guide him a bit easier, but get in the habit of either grabbing and we can do those cross grips as well. So sometimes we might establish one hand. As we start to create an angle, we do the pass off. So obviously, when, I, when we're here, it's very easy for me to get that reverse, so very difficult to get the reverse grip. Very easy to take an outside grip. We need to create an angle. So obviously if I just pushed and Tyler resisted, that's pretty tough. Obviously two hands, we could throw him by a bit easier, right? But if we need to get that cross grip, which is gonna be the best grip, to practice these Toriando style drills. It's not like grabbing it if he's resisting and I can't push. I just move. And then I do a pass up here. So now as Tyler's trying to follow. And if he does get back in, we switch it off, right? So I'm keeping pressure in. So it's a one hand drill, but I'm gonna use them one at a time. By that, obviously both hands are in play, but I'm only touching with one hand at a time, right? So say if we stack them here, he might actually invert here. Obviously those inversions are a bit tougher in your 30s, you know what I mean? <laughs> so one at a time, if he does square back up to us, back to square one, right? We touch the foot, we create an angle, we pass it off. Tyler comes back in, we're blocking him here. We don't want these dirty things <laughs> touching us here. Only one hand at a time, right? So another very useful drill that teaches you that we don't just have to move them. We can use our hand as a frame to move around them. We're making them move, making them react, frustrating them, getting them emotional, fatiguing them. But this is just two simple drills to practice your control.